Hello and welcome to the Legacy Crusaders YouTube channel. My name is Benji and we're going to continue doing the rulebook series, but this is not actually in the rulebook. This is done on some Konami blog articles. This is Conjunctions, which is part of Problem Solving Card Text, which is something that came about in 2011, which was meant to help everybody understand every card that gets printed as every new card is printed using Problem Solving Card Text and even old cards get reprinted using Problem Solving Card Text. And even certain cards have been updated in the official card database that haven't yet been reprinted to have problem solving card text, which is a particular use of punctuation as well as keywords and conjunctions to help you determine what happens when a card is activated and other cards are chained to it. So we're going to be focusing on conjunctions in this video. We're going to do that by using a self-made card. Uh, so this is my self-made card. It is called Hard Leg Joe. And the reason I did that is he's a Yugi tuber and he did this in a video about seven or eight years ago. And I actually thought it was a great idea for explaining conjunctions. So we're actually going to use this card. It's called Hard Leg Joe and uh, this is how it's going to work. The card effect says, target a monster in the graveyard, special summon it, that is part A of its effect. It then says one of the following four conjunctions, which are the all four conjunctions in the game, which connect it to part B of the effect. Part B is to inflict 1,000 points of damage. It should say it to your opponent. I was a little lazy with the writing of this card. So let's see how it would work if it had different conjunctions. So there are four conjunctions, and the purpose of conjunctions is twofold. The uh, first part, it tells you if the card two effects, A and B, occur simultaneously or sequentially, meaning are they considered to have happened at the same time or one after the other, which is important for cards missing the timing. The second part tells you what happens if a card is chained in response to the card, what will happen if only part of the effect could resolve. And each conjunction has its own way of working. So the then conjunction says that if A happens, you will do B. If A does not happen, you do not do B. And if A happens but B cannot happen, A still happens. So I'll try and explain that a little more clearly in a moment. The then conjunction is also the only one of the conjunctions which is considered to happen sequentially. So the first thing happens, then the second thing happens separately, even though it's in one chain link. For this reason, a card such as Torrential Tribute would miss its timing, because the cards that miss timing are all cards that when optional effects. They're not required to happen, but the last thing that happened in the previous chain or card effect had to be that the condition for the card to be activated had been met. So Torrential Tribute's conditions to activate is that a monster has to be summoned. So because our card special summons a monster from the graveyard, you would think it would meet the conditions for Torrential Tribute. But because the effect using the then conjunction is considered to happen sequentially, the last thing actually happens when this card resolves is actually that a thousand points of damage is inflicted. So the last thing that happened was not a monster being special summoned. So Torrential Tribute would miss its timing to be used in the next chain, assuming this card was used using the then conjunction, because the last thing that happened was damage was inflicted, not that a monster was special summoned. So that's the relevance of the then conjunction with timing being sequential. Now we'll focus on what happens if you cannot resolve both parts of the effect. So assuming that the card was activated legally, there was a monster in the graveyard to special summon and target, and your opponent could take damage when you activated it, what happens if they were to chain, called by the grave, targeting to banish the monster from the graveyard? You have to do A in order to do B, so if the monster is banished, you actually do not inflict a thousand points of damage, because that's just part of how the then conjunction works. A is required for B, but not vice versa. So let's take a look at the alternate, which is your opponent chains a card like Hanewada. You still target the monster in the graveyard and you will special summon it, but you can then not do a thousand points of damage because damage cannot be inflicted. A was required to do B, but B is not required to do A. And that is the case with some of the conjunctions. So the then conjunction requires you to do A in order to do B. The and conjunction, on the other hand, says that you must be able to do both. So if your opponent were to banish a card using Called by the Grave or activate Hanewada, because you can't do both, neither one will resolve. Also, the end conjunction, both things are considered to happen simultaneously, so Torrential Tribute would not miss timing, because both the monster would be summoned and the damage would be considered to inflict at the same time. So this card would not cause any missing timing issues if your card needed to special summon a monster or inflict damage, but because of the end conjunction, both things actually have to happen in order for the card to resolve at all. So not only do you need to special summon a monster, you also need to inflict a thousand damage. So if you can't do A, you can't do B, and if you can't do B, you can't do A. So the end conjunction is a bit of a harder conjunction because you can't get away with only doing one of the effects. The end if you do conjunction says that A must happen in order for B to happen, which is similar to the then conjunction. So called by the grave would prevent the thousand points of damage and Hanewada would not prevent the monster from being special summoned, but would prevent the damage. But the difference between the end if you do conjunction and the then conjunction is just whether the effects are considered to happen simultaneously or sequentially. So under the end, if you do conjunction, the monster is considered to be summoned and the damage is considered to be inflicted at the same time. So Torrential wouldn't miss timing, but the interaction between Call by the Grave and Hanewada would be the same as with the then conjunction. If you don't do A, you don't do B. 
If B is unable to be done for some reason, you can still do A, assuming the card was legal to activate when it was initially activated. Uh, the also conjunction is actually a pretty interesting conjunction. It's also considered to happen at the same time. So again, the then conjunction is the only one where things are considered to happen sequentially. And if you do an also, are all considered to happen simultaneously, so torrential tribute would not miss timing. The then and if you do conjunctions both require A for B to happen, and requires that both have to happen. The also conjunction just means that only one of the card defects needs to resolve. So if your opponent were to activate Call by the Grave, you would still inflict the thousand damage. If your opponent were to activate Anewada, you would still special summon the monster. And that's pretty much the differences for all the conjunctions, and that's how it works. It can apply this to any card in the game. There are cards that have multiple conjunctions, and that's where things tend to get confusing. Make sure you click this video link to the rest of the rulebook series. If you've never read the Yu-Gi-Oh! rulebook, I go through it in 19 videos. It's very helpful. If you have any questions,